one of the leading causes of blindness is macular degeneration. People are very frightened about it. What can they do to prevent it? Totally. Macular degeneration is the number one cause of irreversible blindness in this country. And by the year 2030, it could be up to like 30 million people diagnosed with it in this country. So what can we do? Because we don't have a drug for it. We don't have a surgery for it. And most of the macular degeneration starts off as the dry type. And myself, along with other ophthalmologists, have looked at macular degeneration such as starvation of the retina. What nutrients is the macula, the part of the eye that sees the acuity, that sees color, that sees straight ahead, what nutrients is it not getting? And they've been shown by as little as six milligrams of lutein a day that comes from kale, marigold flowers, has been shown to cut the risk of macular degeneration by over 43%. Joanna Senden at Harvard University did this study over 20, 30 years ago. So they know that macular degeneration is a nutritionally responsive condition. So for prevention, you need to do lutein, zeaxanthin, which is another carotenoid that's specifically found in the macula of the eye. Um, bilberry to help with the blood vessels and the blood vessel walls. Um, How about vitamin C? Vitamin C is just good all around, yeah. but it's not as specific okay. for the macula as it is for like the lens of the eye. Okay. And should people be supplementing these things, or can they get it enough through diet? I'm a big believer in you know food. So the number one food for the eyes, I'm sorry, it's not carrots, <laughs> but it is kale. Okay. The green leafy vegetables, kale, collards, spinach. Yes, if you juice, I have, you know, if you do juicing with the green leafy vegetables, orange peppers have a high level of what we call zeaxanthin. So you can get it from foods, but if you don't eat a lot of green leafy vegetables every day, you know, you can for very, very low cost uh, supplement with um, different supplementation for these uh, carotenoids. And how important is sunglasses to protecting the macula. Yeah, photo oxidation uh, from the sun can break down the tiny blood vessels in the eye. So yes, I do believe that you should have good sunglasses that protect from UVA, UVB, and uh, also blue light. All right. Great stuff. Thank you, Mark. You're welcome. Thank you. If you like what you just saw with Dr. Mark Grossman, come back to our website. We have a whole lot more videos with him and with our other great experts. And do me a favor, do the social thing. Share it. Tell your friends, tell your family. It's great information for all.